Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for a new fashion video here on my channel. You guys have been letting me know that you are missing the new in fashion and you've been requesting some updated hauls and I've been shopping from quite a few different retailers lately so instead of doing like five or six different hauls I thought I would group them all into one video. So that's what we have today. The retailers I have been shopping from include ASOS, Topshop, River Island, Mango, um, Ted Baker, Netta Porter. So yeah, it's going to be quite a collaborative haul video. Before I get started, just a super quick notice to say if you are new to my channel then I would love it if you consider subscribing and turning that little notification bell on, not sure, not sure where it sits. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you want to help me out, if you enjoy my content then it really helps me if you give a video a thumbs up and if you leave a comment. Those kind of things just really help to boost my videos in the YouTube algorithm so that's what you can do if you want to just kind of say thank you to me for creating this content for you. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. As I said, in no particular order, I'm actually going to start with what I'm wearing. Okay, so this blouse I absolutely adore. If you watched my 10 Summer Trends video, you'll know that kind of paisley and prairie style is really on trend this summer and this is actually a blouse it's not a dress but it's got so many design details that i love if i told you this was zimmerman or love shack fancy i'm sure you would quite probably believe it but thankfully it's a high street piece this is actually from topshop and I just love it. I'm currently wearing it with a pair of white jeans. It's got a really beautiful silhouette. It's a little bit more cinched in at the waist here. You've got some little buttons that fasten down the middle, a v-neck, which is quite low. It can be a little bit revealing of the um, underwear, but generally hangs in the right place. Love the ruffles, love the big voluminous sleeves, and generally the quality is really good. The design details are really, really nice on this. And I think the colour is really flattering and easy to wear as well. It's quite a neutral tone, so it does go with so many things in my wardrobe. And I have styled it up with a new necklace from the Pandora Dream Collection. This has got a little hot air balloon on it. I went to Chewton Glen last week, which is where they have the amazing uh, kind of treehouse suites. Stayed with Pandora at Chewton Glen last week for the launch of this. We had some hot air balloon fun. I did a blog post on that trip so if you want to read it I'll leave that link down below as well. And then I've got on a pair of new earrings so obviously the um, necklace was gifted when I went on the trip with Pandora. My earrings are from Netta Porter. The brand is called Chan Lu and it's a really beautiful jewellery brand stocked on Netta Porter. They are basically like these hanging pearls. They're really, really lightweight and I think they just make such a statement. I saw a lady, I think she was a Swedish lady, on the beach when we were in Catalonia and she had her hair kind of knotted back in a loose French plait, had a black bikini on and then a pair of hanging pearl earrings and she looked so chic that it made me want to get a pair of similar earrings and these I think will definitely create that look. I got these and a couple of other pieces that I'm about to show you from Netta Porter as part of some gifting because I did a little bit of work with them to promote their sale so I was very fortunate to receive a voucher to put towards these. Everything else is stuff that you've seen, Monica Vinader rings and bracelets and yeah. Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Okay. I also mentioned in my 10 summer trends video that fringing is a huge, huge trend this summer and I really do quite like that Jacquemus, I think that's how you pronounce it, straw bag. It's a little bit larger than life, possibly too big I think for beach holidays. So when I saw that Mango had this alternative one, a lot smaller, a really fun way of experimenting with the fringing trend, getting it into your beach or summer wardrobe and obviously a lot more affordable than the designer bags. I thought this was really, really fun. So it's got a little flap on the inside so your belongings will be covered. And really nice design detail. So it's got a bamboo kind of handle. I really love that rustic effect. And then you've got gold hardware here attaching the bamboo to the bag. This with a white lace dress or a white beach dress or any beach outfit I think is going to be a really gorgeous look this summer. So if you are going on a holiday anywhere and you want to get that luxury look for less then I think this is a really, really good option. I am a huge 
fan of hats, especially on summer holidays because it just makes my hair look better and it protects my face obviously from the harmful rays of the sun, don't want to get any ageing from the sun, so I picked up a couple of other hat type items from Mango. This is, I don't know if you call this a hat or a visor or a straw ring for your head, not too sure, but I thought this would be really, really lovely to wear. Actually, this hairstyle, I've just gone for a kind of half up, half down, is a really good hairstyle to wear if you are wearing hats. So this would just so perfectly protect your face from the sun. You can wear some nice statement sunglasses. And then you can still kind of see your hair at the top here, so it's not going to flatten any hairstyles. Obviously, if you've got a parting, be careful that the sun doesn't burn your parting. I would definitely recommend scraping the hair back, doing a half up and half down, and that will stop your scalp from burning through your parting. So yeah, I thought this would be a really lovely one for wearing on hot summer days, maybe to Wimbledon this year, as well as on summer holidays. But I also have one more hat to show you. With the straw bag, this could be a little bit of overkill because it has so much detail on it, but I really like this rough look. I think it looks amazing in pictures. So many of the girls that I follow on Instagram that have already been to Ibiza this year, of which I'm very jealous, um, were wearing hats like this and I think they look absolutely fabulous. A little bit kind of... <laughs> oh my god. This one is absolutely ginormous. I look like a combine harvester farmer or like a scarecrow or something. Maybe this one is a little bit OTT. Oh my god. It is absolutely ginormous. I think I need to find a more subtle version of this hat. Yeah, I literally look like a scarecrow. Um... <laughs> But you can imagine how the pictures would look really, really cool with a hat like this. Uh, yeah, this one's just a little bit extra. So let me know if you guys have seen anywhere that has a slightly more subtle version of this hat because I think that would be a really nice thing to take on upcoming summer holidays. Continuing on with the theme of summer holiday accessories, also as part of my gifting from Netta Porter, I chose this beautiful bag from a brand called KU. This has been hand woven by ladies in the Philippines. It's part of the Net Sustain collection. So anything on Netta Porter that has the Net Sustain label, Netta Porter have deemed it to have been made in sustainable, um, in a sustainable way with sustainable materials minimizing energy use and minimizing packaging, plastics, all that kind of thing. So I think that's a really great thing that Netta Porter are now doing. OG subscribers of Fashion Mumbler might remember my first KU bag which I bought from Club Monaco a couple of years ago in Texas and I used that bag, I'll pop a picture on the screen here, so much throughout like winter 2017 um, and all of 2018 and beginning of 2019 as well because I just love how it really elevated so many of my beachy outfits. This is more statement, less practical. Obviously the shape, it's flat so it is going to be a little bit um, bulbous when I fill it with things. I will probably get a little dust bag so that anything small doesn't fall out and it just kind of makes it look a little bit more neat on the inside. But it's a beautiful statement bag. I love the flower pattern. I think it's so, so beautiful. And I'll be taking this on all of my upcoming summer holidays. I'll show you in the try-on clips how I style this with various outfits from the other retailers that I've been shopping from lately. And the final thing from Netta Porter is this bikini, or actually it's a swimsuit, from Faithful. So Faithful is a brand whose swimwear I always love and I always feel really, really comfortable when I'm wearing it. It's quite pricey though, so I thought I would treat myself and put my voucher towards this. What I really like about Faithful swimsuits is they're really nice shapes, like the fact that this has got a square top I think is really flattering, I think it's quite like a Victorian style shape and then it's really high cut on the legs which is really flattering, makes your legs look longer and generally just creates a really beautiful silhouette. This has also got a muted kind of floral print on it, I'll show you a little close up here so you can see the print. So colour wise I think this is just absolutely beautiful, it's going to be a very flattering, flattering one to wear on my upcoming summer holidays. So I'm just going to briefly mention my two two new Ted Baker dresses. You guys probably will have already seen these on my Instagram. I wore this one recently to Royal Ascot. It's still got the Royal Enclosure tags on here. When I put it on Instagram, a few people thought that these were the clothing tags and I'd forgotten to take them off, but no, if you look closely, um, this is actually the ticket that enables you to get into the Royal Enclosure and this is the ticket to get us into the Rose Terrace, which is where we had our food and our drink and where we were based during the racing event. 
event. The dress itself is absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be wearing this to an upcoming summer wedding as well. Gorgeous length, beautiful material, and I just loved how this looked. I was so, so um, happy with my Royal Ascot look. I got a hat from Peter Jones. I wore shoes from Russell and Bromley that I'd had from a couple of years ago. And then the same day as Royal Ascot, we raced home and then we went to a premiere of a film called Yesterday, which I would highly recommend. Such a good film. Long story short, basically this guy has a bike crash and then he wakes up from his coma and he's the only person in the world that knows who the Beatles are so he can basically rewrite all the Beatles songs and re-release them and he rockets to fame but he's got like a bit of a moral conundrum because he's not actually kind of stealing the music from the Beatles but it's a really good film I would highly recommend watching it I wore this to the premiere beautiful white gorgeous hanging material I love the floral pattern it reminds me a little bit of my Kate Spade dress from a couple of years ago the blue one and then the florals go all the way down to the bottom there beautiful length beautiful silhouette beautiful fabric and beautiful pattern I love everything about this and I'll be getting a lot of wear out of this this summer. This next dress is one that is going to be so perfect for upcoming summer holidays and days in the sun paired with a basket bag like the KU one that I showed you earlier. It's a really classic style dress from River Island. I love white dresses in the summer. It's just a kind of go-to essential summer wardrobe piece and it's got some really beautiful cutout details. As you can see here, you've got lace panels going down the arms, which is a really nice design detail. A v-neck, you've got buttons down the middle here and then this same lace detail around the waist and it cinches in really beautifully so the silhouette of this one is absolutely gorgeous. You can dress this up or down but personally I think with a basket bag, some shell jewellery and some sandals it is the ultimate easy chic summer holiday outfit. I'm really loving more neutral coloured fabrics at the moment as well. I think they are so classic and timeless and they work really well with so many different things in your wardrobe. You can really mix and match them in with your current accessories, shoes and things like that. So when I saw this dress from Mango. It was initially the fabric that I was attracted to and I really like the details. You've got these wooden buttons, a wooden um, ring style belt here and then you've got this quite old-fashioned really deep scoop neckline. The length of the sleeves I also think is really flattering and then it's got pockets, all important pockets here and then an A-line skirt. It does kind of remind me a little bit of a wartime evacuee kind of dress but I think for a summer work dress this is a really beautiful classic design and it's like a linen blend material. It doesn't seem to crease too badly however the material itself is really lightweight, really breathable so great if you do work in a warmer country, in a warmer environment um, and you don't want to get too hot and bothered while going, going about your meetings and you still want to look smart and stylish, I thought this would be a really beautiful option for that. Another dress that goes with the summer trend of the prairie dresses is this beautiful one from River Island. I fell in love with this paisley pattern on here and it has other design details which I absolutely adore. You've got this really lovely low keyhole detail on the back and ruffles everywhere. You've got these really sweet little ruffles on the sleeves, ruffles around the waist and then it goes down into almost like a flamenco can-can style skirt. This is a really lovely dress for special occasions in the summer if you've got a slightly more bohemian style perhaps for festivals garden parties that kind of thing and it's quite a long length as well so if you are a little bit taller I think this could be a really good one for you personally I've been wearing it with heeled shoes because otherwise it'd be dragging along the floor but the silhouette of this is just absolutely beautiful and the material is so on trend for summer 2019 you may remember my white ruffle play suit from River Island I'll pop a picture on the screen here when when I saw that they had it in pink as well, I just couldn't resist. I think the white one, in fact I have it here, looks so expensive. It looks like such a designer dress, definitely gives me all kinds of Zimmerman and Chloe vibes. I think the white one is sold out, um, if not I'll leave it linked down below, but the pink one is new in. And by the way, these pieces were very kindly gifted to me from River Island as I work with them um, quite frequently throughout the year. This dress, the same silhouette as the white one, you've got the gorgeous ruffle detail, you've got the tie around the waist which you can do in the front to create a beautiful bow detail or you can cinch it in around the back to just give yourself a little bit more of a cinched in silhouette. You've got the same ruffles down at the bottom, a really fun playful design and then elasticated um, hems on the sleeves so you can pull them down or pull them up and create a little bit more of a puff sleeve effect. Really lovely lightweight material. It is lined but it's still super lightweight so a fantastic one again for summer holidays because it really is light and breezy, perfect for popping on after a day on the beach or even if you're going to a slightly more casual wedding I think this would be absolutely perfect for that once again paired with perhaps some white sandals, some wedges, espadrilles and a basket 
bag this is a beautiful summer outfit another white dress because I truly think they are the most versatile thing to have in your wardrobe in summer here is another beautiful one quite similar to the one that I showed you initially in that, that in that it's got some really lovely detail where the panels are more sheer so it creates a really beautiful effect if I put my hand behind there you can see this one's a little bit smarter in that it's got more of a shirt style effect at the top here longer sleeves this one is just the most beautiful lightweight material again this could be a fantastic dress to wear for work if you can be a little bit more casual for work and the length of this one is a bit shorter so this one is knee length and hopefully you can see here the pattern on the dress is just so beautiful this I think would be fantastic worn over a bikini on summer holidays but equally worn in the office because it does have this smarter neckline this kind of dress is so affordable you don't need to go designer when it comes to white dresses this summer yet with the right accessories they can look so luxurious and so expensive so I would most definitely recommend picking up a dress like this for the summer months as well as classic white dresses in my summer wardrobe I just love dresses full stop and this one when I saw this on mango I instantly fell in love the silhouette is just absolutely gorgeous cinches in at the waist you've got this big kind of pocket detail natural almost like white wooden style buttons and I think that the way the fabric is um cut with the direction of the stripes is really really flattering obviously the vertical stripes within the skirt are very elongating the length is very demure it goes just below the knees so it is a really lovely elegant length and then a little bit tighter on the bodice so it just creates the most beautiful feminine silhouette there are so many reasons why I love dresses during summer but the main reason is that you don't need to worry about mixing and matching things your dress is your instant outfit and they're just so comfortable as well you don't need to worry about trousers being a bit too tight after your summer barbecues you can eat as much as you want and run around and be super comfortable in dresses so that is why I have so many in my collection for summer something else that I picked up from mango is this raffia headband now I've been looking for things that can just kind of make my beach hairstyles a little bit more jazzed up the girl on the website looked really cool with this on I'm not sure if I can pull it off quite like she does um, let's give it a try obviously it's not gonna look great with all these tags hanging off it but I don't want to take them off until I know that I can pull this off. I mean, even like this doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, I quite like it, actually, guys. Ooh, maybe this half up, half down hairstyle is the way to go for beachy um, hairstyles. Yes. Do feel a little bit like a fortune teller with the hair down, um, the hang dangly earrings. But... Yeah, that would be a really nice way of keeping your hair out of your face when you are on the beach. Excuse this side with all the tags on it, just imagine how it looks without. But you could wear this um, with your hair down, with loose, messy beach waves, or your hair up in a bun, in a messy bun. This could look really cool. So actually, yeah. Oh, I think I prefer how I look with it on than when I take it off. Just a really nice, affordable accessory to take on your summer holidays, or if you live somewhere where it's nice and sunny, a nice way of just adding a little bit of something. And this raffia is another trend that I mentioned in my 10 Summer Trends video, so a great way of getting that trend into your look without spending a fortune. If you are going to a summer wedding abroad or here in the UK when it's going to be a really nice warm day, I think this dress is absolute perfection. I love pleats, I love pink, I love strappy dresses like this, and for me this is the absolute perfect summer occasion wear dress. If you've got prom coming up, graduation, I think this could be a really lovely dress for that kind of event as well. You've got this double tier format, so it's got this kind of... Um, initial tier up on the bodice at the back you can see the straps have got this kind of like crisscross detail and then there is a hidden zip fastening it's full length it has the most beautiful hang to it the most gorgeous flattering pink color which i truly think works on all different skin tones almost like a salmony pink i think it's just absolutely beautiful and this one from asos is not going to break the bank so a really lovely statement dress to wear for summer summer events that isn't going to cost a fortune you may have seen this one in my 10 summer trends video but i also picked up this little basket bag from asos it gives me major cult guy vibes i think it is such a statement bag it is a really solid shape so it's a good size for fitting your daily essentials in without going overboard like maybe the KU one is but I like to make a statement just a perfect size for your everyday bag or also a little evening clutch again for summer holidays or special occasions here in the UK or wherever you live I think these are really nice wedding guest accessories as well so definitely worth investing in if you don't have a raffia or basket bag in your collection yet and then darlings I'm actually gonna finish with this coat because 
I still have a whole pile of clothes to show you from Topshop, but I have already been filming for 37 minutes, um, and hopefully I'm going to be able to edit that down, but I think it's just going to be too much to show you Topshop as well, so I'm going to film an entirely separate, despite what I said at the beginning of this video, Topshop haul, because I know you guys get very excited with Topshop things as I do so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that I will try and publish it within the next couple of days so I'm going to finish with this gorgeous coat this is another thing that was kindly gifted from River Island summer coats are something that I find really hard to nail but this one it takes so many boxes neutral color silhouette that can be dressed up and dressed down it is a really flowing silhouette so it can be worn with more casual outfits white t-shirt and jeans instant way to jazz this up or because it is a classic classic trench style it can be also used for smarter occasions as well and this material almost looks like satin this could be a reese coat and you definitely wouldn't even think that it's from a more affordable high street store cinched in at the waist beautiful waterfall detail on the collar and this neutral shade just so versatile perfect for popping on over your shoulders if the weather is looking a little bit hit and miss here in the UK, I mean, when I started filming, it was beautiful blue skies, whereas now it's cloudy, so I probably need to put something like this over my shoulders to head out into town. So yeah, finishing on a really, really versatile piece, which in this classic shade is not going to be going out of style for years to come, so something that you can invest in, knowing that it's going to work for your wardrobe year after year after year. So well done, River Island. You have nailed what I think is the perfect classic summer trench coat. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking at a million miles an hour to try and share all these lovely new pieces with you, so I really hope you've enjoyed looking through them with me. Let me know what your favourites are down below, and do, as I said, keep your eyes peeled for the Topshop haul. I'm literally going to film it right now, so it's not going to be too far away. Hopefully it'll be here in the next couple of days, so stay tuned. Also, another little reminder, if you haven't yet, to sign up to my newsletter. I have been sharing edits of the best things to buy in the summer sales. Selfridges have their summer sale right now, Netta Porter, Mango, Topshop, Reese, so many of my favourite retailers are in the sale, and I know it's so boring and time-consuming to go through all those pages of the websites, so what I like to do is choose the very best of my picks from the sale. I do all the hard work for you and they go into my very concise weekly newsletter as well as other things like tomorrow's newsletter is going to have tips on how to keep the air in your home clean. Today as I'm filming this is National Clean Air Day and there are so many things that we do in our home which are actually polluting the air so tomorrow's newsletter is going to have tips on keeping the air clean in your house. So yeah, they're really fun bite-sized bits of information. So I'll leave a link to sign up to that down below and I'm I'm gonna stop before this video becomes 10 hours long, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.